Okay, now I want to show you the phenomenon of interference. Interference uh, is some kind of source of a uh, wave again. Again, it could be a light wave, it could be a even sound wave, it could be water wave, and there is usually some source of, uh, it goes through a certain um, uh, a region, like a little opening here, and it goes through a little opening. So essentially, the wave theory of light tells us that when you have two sources of light, or two sources of water waves, two sources of any wave, and it's dispersing out from two different regions that the crest of one wave will um, successively meet the trough of the other or the two crests might meet each other. Wherever the crest and the trough meet, they will kill each other. And wherever the crest and the crest meet, they will enhance each other. So it will look something like this. Okay. And if you have a screen or some place here where you're analyzing the light source or the, or the waves, you will notice that at the, uh, at the middle is you will have the highest intensity. And that's called the central maximum in physics theory. You have the, the brightest or you have the biggest wave. And then afterwards, to the side, you have the, the first minimum. They kill each other, the two waves. And then they have a maximum, minimum, maximum, minimum, maximum, minimum, maximum, minimum, maximum, minimum, and so on like that. So the first one is the brightest, the biggest wave. And then after that, it decreases, it decreases, decreases. And usually you can also tell this thing happening, even if you don't have a screen, you will see some kind of pattern like this. You know, wherever, wherever they are increasing each other, you'll, you'll see like a line going to there. And then you'll see another line going to the, that maximum. So you'll see like almost like a line kind of feature. And you'll see a line to the center. And you'll see a line here. And then you'll see a line to here. And so on like that. Uh, today I will illustrate this using water waves and then on another uh, occasion I will illustrate this using laser beams. I will shoot the laser beams out through two slits and I'll show you that they actually interfere. But so today let's focus on the water waves. Come over here, turn off the lights. Okay, so this time I have two sources, the sine wave generators again. We have both are giving 14 hertz, and I'll make their amplitudes about the same. And they are relatively close to each other. And you can see here that they are creating regions that they are enhancing each other, and they are creating regions that they are um, destroying each other. So if I change the frequency, I make both of them now 15. Now the, the regions that they are enhancing each other will occur more often. So if I have 16, because when I'm increasing frequency, I'm decreasing the wavelength of the waves. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. If I increase the amplitude here, okay, you could tell here, you see, wherever the black kind of looking spot meets with the black of there, they enhance each other. And if I increase the amplitude some more, now I'm going to increase it more. Okay, now I'm at 45. I'm going to reduce the amplitude here. Again, you're seeing here, I'm at a frequency of 38 hertz. Again, you're seeing this thing. You see this line almost here that is being created? That's the region, and it's going to become a maximum when it hits the side here. So you see those lines occurring, and they're occurring more often. So if I increase the frequency, this is 39. This is 41. 
43, if I increase the amplitude, you see now you could tell they occur more often. Now if I go to the extreme other end, low frequency, if I go to one hertz, two, three, you can kind of see this beginning to happen, but not as, there aren't too many. Okay, you can see it happening again. Five. Now there's again a region here that you're gonna start to vibrate a lot. So this one is pretty good, you can see it. Now I'm back to 12 that region, and again, you can see it. So you can see this phenomenon is known as interference. And again, this occurs a lot in nature. Whenever you have two waves that are meeting each other, it could be two ocean waves, it could be two sound waves, two water waves, two um, light waves. So this is a very important phenomenon. So one other time, I'll show you this phenomenon with a laser beam and how they interfere with each other. Thank you.